name is Crystal. This is for um, Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, okay? Um, just remember this is a general reading, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, then, you know, just leave that part for somebody else. Maybe somebody else needed to hear that message. It's okay if it doesn't all make sense for you, okay? So just, you know, pay attention to the stuff that matters for you. You have a time to give rather than take, all right? So I feel like now the universe wants you to kind of like, you know, help others in some type of situation. Don't really worry about the take. Um, not saying you do. It's just what popped up in the cards. Okay, and then you have two good cards. A win-win outcome as forecast. This is Libra, Virgo, and Taurus. Alright, so balancing out some stuff. Things are starting to come into balance. Then you have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So don't worry. You know, you got a win-win outcome as forecast and prosperity lies ahead. Whatever you're doing is working. Why did I just pull more of these? Okay, whatever. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Alright, so things are changing for you guys. Alright, I'm going to pull some tarot and find out more. The tower, lots of change, yes. Ace of Cups, the Fool, new starts, new beginning, focusing on yourself, becoming stronger than you were before, having to make some type of difficult decisions with the Strength card too. Ace of Cups is promised from the universe to be able to live out your dreams, so I don't know if you're starting a new business, moving someplace new, um, met some new love, you know what I mean? It's like, um, this is like new love, and it's like your cup is like overfilling with joy. But the Tower card, I feel like you've just been through like a big transformation or a big change or a big like kind of like just massive blow up, right? But I feel like this is what needed to happen in order to bring you to the Ace of Cups because that's right next to it. And then also the Fool fell out after the Ace of Cups. So it's like two new journeys. So you might be going on a new journey emotionally and a new journey like with a life, I mean um, a job. I can't talk with a job or like moving or something like this. So I feel like there's kind of like more than one new start for you. It can also just mean the new start is that you're trying, you're starting to see yourself in a better light. You're starting to focus on yourself, take care of yourself, you know, love yourself, do what you got to do, focus on your money, not really letting other things bother you as much before. And I feel like all of this is the reason why all these cards are so powerful. I mean, you got... You got the Tower, the Ace of Cups, the Fool, Nine of Pentacles, and the Strength. First of all, you got three major arcana, then you have an Ace, and then Nine of Pentacles, which is an ending or something, and then you have like a whole bunch of new beginnings. So you have two endings, two new beginnings. And it also may be requiring you to have a little bit of strength right now, only because, well, and then the Three of Swords. Okay, so something's broke your heart. Are you feeling like something is in the way of you getting what you want, like what you love, who you love, whatever the situation is? It's like there's a heartbreak right there. There's a little bit of confusion in the middle of that. Maybe you're, under, you're not sure why this isn't working out, but it's like you have so much things better lying for you in the future, but you just can't see it right now. If you were to be able to see what it was, then it wouldn't be so hard for you to kind of let go of this um, past hurt. You have the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. These are two messenger cards. Maybe you're messaging somebody, texting new people, you know what I mean? Maybe a message came in for you from, like, a job. Maybe you were waiting on something, like, you know, um, a new job offer, a new apartment, like I said. Or, or, or it could be saying if you've taken a test, any kind of test, driving test, whatever kind of test. It's like good news is coming in from that. So if you're waiting on that, good news is coming. And then you have Page of Swords. You're either texting or speaking to somebody on the Internet, spying on somebody on the Internet really having your eye on somebody but this is also a card about like thinking logically and having to do the work or or having to think first before you do anything because it's like you have to make sure everything is right this is a puzzle solver a sleuth this guy is like very logical very smart okay but you have two messenger cards so i do feel like there is a message coming in for you if it hasn't came already the knight of swords this is you charging for what you want now the clouds are fading you're starting to be more open not more open yeah maybe more open but more focused more less confused it's kind of like you know what you want now and you're kind of going for it i don't know if you're angry though the knight of swords kind of um, makes me think of somebody who's angry there's another card about logical thinking too okay and this is also somebody who will go for what they want no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the challenges are. It's like you have your mind set, right? And you're going to go for it. And it's not like anything that you're going to um, let anybody get in the way of. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you're standing in your truth. 
standing in your truth also a promotion card so if you did take a test or put it in for like a higher offer at your job or trying to like move on in the world you know move on up i mean in the world it's like that's coming for you too you have the ace of cups a new start in love ace of swords a new start with career business um even just doing what you want to do now the ace of swords is kind of like standing in your truth which means like finally realizing what you're really meant to do here on this planet then you have the lover's card. You may have met your soulmate. My neighbor is a truck driver. He does this every freaking time. I don't even know why. Um, the lover's card. So I feel like you did meet your soulmate or your twin flame recently. Okay, so this may be the new love that popped up because this is coming further on in the end. And I feel like the king of wands. I feel like this person is somebody that you could trust. This person can actually be your best friend. These, um, the King of Wands, right, the King of Wands is somebody who's been through it all, who's learned all their lessons, who's been through hell in their life, and it's like they came out on top, you know what I mean? This is somebody you could trust, somebody who's honest, somebody who's loyal. Like I said, this person could be your best friend. Um, they're also somebody who's very bold and very, like, um, express, not maybe expressive, but very bold in what they want to do, and it's like they don't back down. So it's like they know what they want. Seven of Cups, you have lots of options here, and you're stuck in your thoughts about it because you're confused. You don't know what way to go. And you got another messenger card, Page of Wands. I'll get to that in a minute. But I feel like you're confused right now because you, you're you overthinker. You're thinking way too much. You got too many thoughts in your head, and it's clouding your judgment. It's clouding you from being able to do what you want to do a little bit. So I feel like this is why the Nine of Pentacles is here, the Ace of Swords. It's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know... Go for what you want and focus on you. Don't worry about the things that are not going out, working out for you. They're not working out for a reason. So just take it as it is, as hard as it is. Take it as it is and try to move forward, you know what I mean? And find something that will make you happy, you know what I mean? So maybe you're having problems at work. Maybe you're just having problems, you know, overthinking. Like I said, overstressing, over worrying. Maybe you're thinking, like, maybe if you did meet this new person or got this new job or this new offer, maybe you're stressing about that. So if you are, I think that you should just kind of, you know what I mean, just relax, take some time out, you know, take a break, and um, <laughs> temperance, patience, balance, healing, um, doing things in moderation, so taking things step by step, don't rush into anything, and don't allow your, like, negative thoughts to um, stop you from being able to move forward. Think positive. Always think positive because what we think is what we create. We create our own reality just by our thoughts. As weird and crazy as it sounds, but if you're watching freaking tarot, then you should be able to believe in that too. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Then you got the page of wands. This is a new spark, a new love, new inspirations, new passions, new ideas. Maybe you have new ideas of like starting a career, new inspirations about something. Um, this is like, uh, he's got salamanders all over his clothes, so I feel like you have transformed and changed into a new person. I feel like this has changed your perspectives and made you realize certain things, and now you're kind of like going in another direction with things, and by doing that, it's going to bring you win-win outcasts, <clears throat> prosperity lies ahead, and powerful change. So it's like, it may be hard. Yeah, it's going to be a little hurtful. It's not going to be very easy, but it's three swords. Threes are not major. They're minor. So it's something that you can get over. It's not going to like be something that's going to, you know, always bother you for the rest of your life, you know, type thing. But I do feel like, you know, as long as you don't allow the sadness to um, overtake you, I feel like you can go in the right direction that you're aiming for. One second. I'm back. Okay, so observer, go the distance. So you are watching somebody on the internet or you are texting somebody on the internet because you have observer and the page of swords and they're both kind of the same card. So I do feel like there's some texting going on. You met somebody new or you have your eye on somebody and you're thinking about sending them a message. Okay, and then you have thinker, overthinking, 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 Aquarius, um, you know, lots of thoughts. Lots of stress, lots of worries, you're feeling trapped, you're feeling stuck in whatever situation that you're in, but once you take that blindfold off and realize this doesn't have to be this way, it's going to be so much easier for you, I promise. Go the distance. You're almost at the end. You're almost at the flag. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but you're almost at the flag, okay? So it's like keep on pushing forward. Don't stop yourself because if you stop yourself, then... You're not going to get all this good stuff that you don't even know is coming for you. you <laughs> never ending story. I feel like this is you. Um, it could have been a situation that you were dealing with. But I feel like this is you kind of with the thoughts. The overthinking and stuff. Never ending story. It's like 
you know, things are not, and it doesn't have to be your thoughts, though, but it's a never-ending story. Whatever you were going on, it just, whatever you were going through, it was like, kept on repeating, kept on repeating, kept on repeating, you know what I mean? And nothing ever changed. So I feel like this is the reason why you're ready to start, you know what I mean, something new. And you have all that glitters for the last card. I'm also going to pull some, um, where the hell did it go? Right here. I'm going to pull some of these, um, House of the Wisdom of Night. All that glitters. All right, so it's like all your hard work is going to pay off. It's going to lead you to like success, money, abundance, happiness. You know what I mean? The things we all want in life. All right, meditation. I was going to say that too. If you were thinking or overstressing too much, it's like take some time out to meditate. Get your mind clear. If you have a uh, question in mind, it's like meditate to that question because mo more than likely you're going to be able to find the answer yourself rather than going to somebody else. The moon. All right, I'm going to read these two. I'm only going to pull two because I'm going to read these. You got the moon. Um, this is also about like coming out into your intuition and um, stuff like that and emotions. Um, 50. Boop. What is that? Bear with me. Okay, it says, when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide, you know it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Some people will say one thing, and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have this power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's really going on behind the scenes. Meditation. In the darkest, inky black night, I, Nyx, make my magic and weave it into the world. This is a time for non-action. Do nothing and find quiet within your heart and wait. All will be revealed when the time is right. Now is a time for quiet contemplation. You won't miss anything if you stay quiet. Be still and know that I, Nyx, goddess of night, am always with you as you discover your magic in silence. I'm going to pull one more card. Trapped. You are feeling trapped. I feel like you need to meditate in order to get yourself out of this trappedness, okay? Because trapped is definitely a message here. And I feel like you are ready to move on to this new lover's thing, but I feel like you got to get yourself out of this trappedness first, okay? Like, whether that's in your mind, in your situation, or whatever is going on that's making you feel trapped, I feel like you have to fix that first. Um, try to meditate, work on yourself, try to heal, you know what I mean? You know, try not to overthink so much, okay? You know, it does more worse than good, okay, when you overthink, you know? Sometimes it's good to evaluate stuff, but not to overthink it. You have a lot of, um, swords here. You got four swords cards, so I do feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, thoughts. I feel like, um, and then you have the page to the ace, so I feel like you're turning your ideas, right, into a reality with the page and then the ace of swords, so I feel like you're a good communicator, somebody who loves to speak to other people, somebody who helps other people through your speaking, and, and with the temperance card that was on the bottom of the deck, you know what I mean? I feel like you make people, you help people heal, okay? But, um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys, all right? So if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>